In tech, I think it's appropriate that if a company, organization, or even an individual does something bad, that it should be covered. It should be exposed, and a lot of people should be made aware of that situation. However, I think the same should be said for when a company does something really good. And that's exactly what I want to do in this video. So this past week, October 24th, was the annual Next.js conference. So the event started on 9 a.m. October 24th, and it covered a bunch of different things. It was hosted in San Francisco. And you can see here it had a lot of different speakers, all the way from the CEO and founder at Vercel to a bunch of different engineers, DX, principal educators, and all these other individuals who are working with Vercel or even using Next.js in their company or in their code base. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos uh, about Vercel or Next.js, you know that I would cover some of the things I think they handled poorly, whether that's miscommunication or promising benchmarks that weren't necessarily true. However, this time is different because I truly think not enough people are talking about what the Vercel or Next.js team decided to do this past weekend for the open source community. And so what I'm talking about is Lee Robinson made this tweet. My favorite part of Next.js Conf was giving back all ticket sales to our open source community. And if you were on Twitter for the last couple of days since the conference, you would notice that some of your favorite builders, favorite contributors, or, you know, founders have gotten a sponsor. So AJ, shout out to Vercel team for sponsoring my blog and work in the open source space. Thanks, Rauch, Lee, Rob, and all. You can see here, you have a new sponsor from Vercel Sponsorships is now sponsoring you for $2,000 one time. And this has happened to a bunch of different individuals. You can see here, there's another post from Carl Horky. You can see another from NDOM91. Of course, I don't know all of these individuals, but just being on Twitter for the last couple of days, you saw this sponsorship kind of impacting so many different people from a wide array of different facets that either work on Next.js or maybe aren't even directly affiliated with Next.js. And I really love this tweet from Smackosh that said, gotta love the move that Vercel did by giving back the money made from the conference tickets to open source developers who made tools used by Next.js. And I really think that is a really good move because contributors in open source, there's so many things that can go wrong. Sometimes your work isn't appreciated. Sometimes people could just not even acknowledge that you even contribute to something. It goes kind of under the radar because so many people contributing to the project you're working on. Maybe the work they put on a project isn't even used by that many people, or maybe it is, and you don't get compensated, right? One of the things about working in open source and contributing open source is that typically you don't get paid for it. It's work that is just done for the sake of doing something for the community, for yourself, for whatever the purpose is, but you don't get financially compensated for your time and effort towards the contribution you are making. It's very, very rare to see sponsorships, especially at this amount of $2,000 being just thrown out in the open source world. And I think it's just worth talking about because Next.js obviously was a huge success. A lot of people attended the conference. There were so many people who were talking about all the different speakers, all the different tech influencers, and all the people who are just fans of Vercel and Next.js attended this conference, flew in there, and they probably made a lot of money from the ticket sales. And for the Next.js team, the Vercel leadership team to internally make the decision to take that amount of money and just give back to people who may have never ever been compensated for their work in open source is just hats off flowers to them and clap that is a awesome awesome move by the company and i want to add this one in particular this is from andres basai uh, ultimate achievement unlocked thank you Vercel. it was truly unexpected does, the, does this mean i've made it would be interested to know why and you can see Vercel sponsored the work of andres and if you don't know what it is he is the creator of coolify and i've made a video and fireship has made a video that talks about if you don't want to deploy your apps on Vercel, use coolify and i think it's just a really really cool turn that now the team at Next.js have realized there's other ways to deploy your next application, not just on Vercel, but on different things like Coolify, like sub-hosted solutions. And they're acknowledging the work that Coolify has done for the overall development world. So I think this was just an awesome move. Great, great move, really. And what is a good move if it's not coupled with some great memes? And who is the best at memes? 
Shout out Trash Dev. I think my Vercel sponsorship money got lost in the mail. You can see here crying because obviously Twitter was flooded with all these sponsorship uh, notifications in your Gmail or GitHub account mail notifications. So that's about it for this video. I just wanted to give a you know round of applause to Vercel and their team for making this decision. Uh, they could have easily just copped that money, made profit, and you know did something cool with it, buy some yachts, buy some new watches, buy some more black t-shirts. But I think it was really cool that they went ahead and just gave back to the community with such a large sum. This could be one of the biggest just amounts donated throughout the open source world. So uh, definitely deserved a video. I think not a lot of people are talking about it. And another thing that's really cool is subscribing to my YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, click subscribe, click like, and let me know in the comment section down below what did you think of this move by Vercel? Does it change your opinion about them? And did you attend Next.js? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.